I uh, was asked by um, a friend, a co-worker, to help help her move uh, into her house. And uh, as we migrated to our house um, and the door opened, we immediately, of course, went in to disassemble or assemble some things in the house and maybe about a minute or two, I swear I was caught off guard. There was someone that came out of the closet uh, who held both of us gunpoint and um, with a pole, of course, uh, facing towards us and shoved me into the bathroom and shoved her maybe in uh, another room. Uh, but specifically, uh, I was you know, caught off guard, um, put in an awkward situation, uh, was very stunned, didn't know how to respond in that moment where he, again, handcuffed me, blindfolded me, uh, and uh, told me uh, that if I did everything he told me to do, I, I may live, quote unquote, listen to those words. So what does that do to you immediately uh, to defend for yourself? You, you already go into defensive mode as a man, but in the same sense, you go into survival mode. So does this mean that I survive or do I defend for myself and potentially sacrifice my life in someone else. So immediately I held on to those words uh, by doing everything he told me to do, even if it was something that I didn't know that was going to happen. And um, as he continued to go back and forth from the bathroom into another room, he uh, eventually drugged me back into a back room and laid me face down and began just to torture me and talk to me and just say, you know, rudely things to me in terms of who I am and why are you here, what are you doing? And I began to brutalize me with the pole. He had a pole in one hand and a gun in the other hand. He began to brutalize me and beat me and uh, just basically take advantage of me. Uh, I had no control over myself and him at that time uh, because I was hand, handcuffed, blindfolded, and, and laid face down. So to the point where he continued to, you know, beat me with his, with his, with his boots. Uh, with the stick and with the gun, and would just you know just just say all types of things, you know, curse at me and s said things that that was trying to harness you know or damage. I'm sorry, my my identity. I think he was really trying to penetrate there, and it did, it did, it did, uh, you know, uh, damage my identity in that moment, that time, because during the home invasion, that's what it was. Uh, he began to pull down my pants and I uh, began to take the pole and stuck it up my anal. I always, people always ask me, how do you know the, how many times he did it? I can, I can count, but I probably couldn't count, but I know it was at least about 25 times that he did it the first time to, to the point where it, it, it did internal damage to my, my organs and uh, things of that nature. And I don't know if he got like a gratification out of it or, or you know, the sensation because Again, he took the pole again, maybe maybe five or ten minutes later, and he began to um, stick a pole up my anal 25 more times to the point you could actually, if you was in that room, you could probably hear, you know, the, the, the intensity of the pain and, and how it damaged my internal organs. So during that time, I didn't think I was probably going to survive that particular episode, that moment, because it was cruciating pain. And I was holding, you know, my book talks together. And every time I did, he said, don't hold it. You're going to take this pain. It's like he was, like, that's all I was saying. He was, like he was getting something out of it as he had done this before or he had experienced, you know, some brutality against someone else before. But the, the moments I squeezed, the moment he, he began to force it even more. And it, it, again, you know, caused internal damage to me. So from that moment, uh, he did not do it again. I, I truly believe if he would have did it again, I probably would have blacked out. I probably wouldn't have been here. But thankfully that he didn't do it, and during that month, during that particular time, he began to you know realize me and and run back and forth in a room uh, to do certain things to a coworker. Uh, but at the same time, uh, he ended up leaving. I heard it. I heard him leave, and I waited about five minutes until I actually got up, and I was sore, and my stomach was you know uh, literally swollen, and I finally got up and check the perimeter, check on my coworker, and, and finally, I actually went out the front door to try to get help, and I jumped the fence. I jumped the fence because my drilling was rushing. I mean, not knowing that I probably could have did even more damage to my internal organs, but at the moment, I was trying to survive. I was thankful that I got out there alive in that particular moment. So um, 
in that particular time, we uh, both got out of there and, and of course, went to safety. 